console in my hands is the most amazing device I've played with recently. It comes from an innovation lab under Tencent Games, dedicated to exploring software and hardware technology related to player experience. Its full name is the Sunday Dragon 3D1 Glasses Free 3D Gaming Handheld Console. Although it's more of a technology validation product, I still had a lot of fun with it. Simply put, the 3D1 generates two images that are identical in content but have slightly varied perspectives. When each of your eyes views them separately, your brain automatically interprets them as a 3D image. The sensor positioned on top of the device continuously tracks your eyes, ensuring the visuals are accurately projected to the correct spot. You could consider the 3D1 to be a high-end, precise, dynamic version of this thing. From my tests, if a game already has a clear separation between the foreground and background with a prominent main character, it pairs really well with the glasses free 3D. During gameplay when you flip this switch, the handheld console automatically switches to glasses free 3D mode, which enhances the game's stereoscopic effect. It makes distant mountains, nearby grass, characters, weapons, and even hair appear to float right before your eyes. It's truly amazing. I highly, highly recommend Limbo. This game was originally a 2D side-scrolling adventure, but with glasses free 3D enabled, the foreground and background clearly separate, the wild grass floats, the forest appears deep, and combined with the game's oppressive. Its mysterious atmosphere is highly immersive. Since Limbo doesn't demand high performance, it's ideal for glasses-free 3D handhelds. I also tested 2D games like Stardew Valley, Age of Empires 2, and Sea of Stars. In glasses-free 3D mode, houses, trees, and characters appear layered and floating, but the visual impact isn't as striking as Limbo. They're not as exciting, so it's better to just keep playing them in 2D mode. Enabling glasses-free 3D forces the system to render twice the frames in real time, causing frame rate fluctuations. Fortunately, the Intel Arc 1 140V's integrated graphics perform well. In 2D, mainstream games at around 60fps on medium settings at 1080p. However, was whether this 11-inch 2.5K screen would also be good for office work. It is, and the development team already thought of that, even creating a dedicated magnetic keyboard for it. The Intel Ultra 7 155H, plus the onboard 32GB of RAM, is more than enough for light office work. You can even activate glasses-free 3D mode in everyday tools, transforming 2D videos into 3D, characters and backgrounds naturally separate, showing no signs of forced conversion. Photoshop layers truly become layers, adding a wonderful new perspective. You can even try out a 3D version of Notion to truly grasp the UI hierarchy when your daily tools encounter. Glasses Free 3D, it genuinely gave me some pleasant surprises. Even though it's still in the technology validation phase, the new interactions on the visual aspect already showcase the joy of innovation. This is my first Windows handheld console, and I'm thrilled that it's just a little bit different from its peers and similar products.